I'm Peter Blanc in Philadelphia at the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene. With me is Dr. Felipe Martinez from Argentina. And uh, we have, and he has talked about, and we just recently talked about in the last few minutes, the whole issue of dapagliflozin and its ability to deal with heart failure aside from diabetes. Fascinating drug, Felipe, that has these multiple uses, and the more we learn about it, the more we like it. So your trial that you're presenting here is in the elderly patients compared to the not so elderly patients and the use of this from the DAPA heart failure study. Tell me about your study and then tell me, you know, what we should do about this. What's the information that we learned? My first opinion is completely agree with yours that DAPA glyphosin or glyphosins in general, this group, is a new era in the treatment of diabetes and heart failure. Regarding a specific of the trial that I am presenting here is a sub-study of the main trial DAPA-HF in general population, diabetics and non-diabetic patients, but we focus it in elderly patients. And we divided the whole population in four age categories, below 55, 55 to 64, 65 to 74, 75, over and older. And uh, we did find there, there is no significant difference in the drug effect in the four age categories. It's it, outcomes and side effects? Safety and tolerability was even better in older patients compared with placebo. So it means that in addition, the drug has some protective effects, particularly at the renal function. So tell me, uh, as people get older in these studies, do they have more difficulty taking the drug? Did you have a lot of people dropping out because they simply felt they didn't need to take it anymore, or was that not an issue? You know that heart failure is more common in elderly patients. Right. And independent of the pathology, elderly patients has a lower adherence, drug adherence or compliance to treatment. So heart failure is not the exception, and this is an important point to take care. But in our study, we didn't find any significant uh, difference in the drug compliance in elderly patients. So that was a good part of your study. They yeah. were pretty good about taking yeah. it. So let me ask you a question that is an important one, right? Dapaglifosin was initially a diabetic drug. It turned out that it made heart failure better. What's the mechanism that goes on here? Uh, what's going on to make this drug so good for so many things? I mean, pretty soon it's going to make our hair grow better. I mean, what's, what's the mechanism for the heart failure business? To be honest, if I have the right question, the right answer to your question, maybe I will, I'm going to be proposed for the Nobel Prize. Okay, we'll share it. <laughs> <How's that? laughs> but uh, there are many potential mechanisms. First one, a diuretic effect. Mm -hmm which uh, has a lot of influence in volume deplection and volume management in, the, in heart failure. Second is a, an inhibition of uh, the NH1 and H3 uh, mm, mm, activators yeah. or effectors mm -hmm. that are coincident with the uh, angiotensin receptor uh, activation that may be beneficial in heart failure and in diabetes okay. and many other, and so, many other potential. Yeah, so there really is, I mean, this isn't just magic. There's real reason, yeah. scientific reason that exactly. this may be. Okay, so uh, this is a drug that we're gonna hear a lot more about and for the global health, this is gonna be an issue that a lot of countries are going to have to ask themselves, is it worth the money to put this drug out there for patients with heart failure? But heart failure is going to be a big problem for global health in the next 10 years. Completely agree. Uh, population is aging, yeah. and elderly people, as I said, have the possibility of presenting more heart failure. And in addition to what you said, remember that there is a new group of drugs uh, producing probably the same effect. And there are many ongoing trials trying to demonstrate if the effect we found in DAPA-HF is confirmed or even 
to extend this beneficial effect to heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, for instance. Okay, so keep your eye on the glyphosin group of trials, right, and drugs. Uh, we're gonna be hearing a lot more about it for dapoglyphosin right now. We know that it's good for the elderly as well as for patients who are younger. This seems to be a blockbuster drug. We're gonna hear a lot more about it. Thank you so much, Felipe. Thank you.